What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color cartoons in Procreate. Now what you see here is a drawing I made of Chun-Li in my style of course. And I left the picture specifically with just the line work so I can show you guys my entire process of coloring cartoons in Procreate. Now as you can see I got one layer for the line work and another layer with the colors that I'm going to be using in here so that way throughout the video I won't be digging for colors. So we're going to make this layer visible and lock the line work layer that way I'm aware that it won't get tampered with while I'm coloring. First thing I'm going to do is create a clipping mask layer. I'll explain what this does in a minute but for now we're going to fill in the line work with pretty much any color here. I like to use a skin tone for the clipping mask layer because it saves me the trouble of coloring the skin because it already be in there. Now that that's filled in we're going to name this layer color clipping mask and with this clipping mask layer I'm able to color inside the shape without worrying about going outside these lines making things a lot easier. Now we're going to make a new layer tap the thumbnail and click clipping mask and then an arrow pops up pointing at the layer underneath it. This layer will be just for the eyes and the teeth, more like the white parts of the face. Why am I doing this white stuff? I'll explain later in the video. Now that that's done, we're going to lock this layer so I don't accidentally draw on this layer either. And we're going to add another layer for the rest of the colors. This layer I'm going to use for the flat colors in the drawing so I can get all the colors in place. So I'm going to start off with this brown for the hair. I'm going to make the outline and then color drop it. I'm going to use a bluish white for the buns in her hair and then start using this blue for the dress. And as a reminder, we're going to keep all the colors on just this one layer. So let me finish this up real quick. Next we're going to begin adding shades. For a character illustration, I like to make the light source behind the character because spoiler alert, I'm going to add a colored background which I'll use as a light source, meaning the shades are going to be in front. So for the shades, I like to use a black on just that one layer. I'll shade this part of the sleeve and color drop a black. Then I'm going to open up my layers, tap with two fingers on that shade layer, and this will give you the option to change the opacity of that layer. When you reduce the opacity of the black layer, it becomes a shade of whatever color is underneath it. I saved the face for last so I can explain why I made a separate layer for all the white stuff. So first we're going to provide the shades to the face and color drop. Now it kind of looks weird with the eyes going along with the shades. I don't like the eyes at all having shades. It feels off to me. So we're going to open our layers, tap the thumbnail with the white stuff and hit select. Then switch back to the shade layer and erase that selected portion. And that's it. No more shades on the eyes or the teeth. Now that the shades are complete we're going to begin adding highlights. We'll begin by adding the shine on Chun-Li's hair. So we're going to make a new layer and don't forget to make it a clipping mask layer. Then begin to make a white strip along the hair.
So I applied this to every part of the hair I thought deserved shiny parts. Now I'm going to take an eraser tool and draw lines around that strip to help pose as certain strands of hair. The lines I'm making are miscellaneous. It doesn't matter if they're thick or thin. Now just like what we did with the shades, we're going to tap that layer with two fingers at the same time and then reduce the opacity of it and it'll become a lighter variation of that brown color. Now we're going to add highlights to the entire piece because like I mentioned before, it's going to be a colored background which will pose as a light source. So we're going to make a new layer and make sure it's a clipping mask layer and begin going around the original lines with this white color. This step will be time consuming so I'm going to time lapse this step. in the building nigga. So here's what the drawing looks like so far and the lineup of layers that I have going on. To finish this piece, I'm going to add a layer on top of the line work layer and we're going to add shine to the eyes. It's more visible when it's above the line work. It's just two small ovals in the iris. So now I'm going to add a background or backdrop to the illustration. And you can stick around if you want to see how I do that. So all the way at the bottom, hit the background tab and move over colors to see which one you want to use. I'm going to use this pale lemon yellow. Now I'm going to add a layer on top of my color palette layer and name it background. On that layer, we're going to use either a lighter or darker variation of that background color. That we should. Then use a paint rolling tool and make a giant scribble behind the character. Finally, we're going to make another layer on top of that one. And I like to add small and large white bubbles to the piece. And if you want to, you can also change the opacity of it so it kind of blends in with the colors that we just added. And after that, that completes the illustration all together. So here's my layer lineup one more time in case you missed a step. And I made sure to name these layers as I go so that way it won't be confusing to you guys. But there's a lot of complications with coloring just a digital picture or at least the way I do it but it's worth spending one to two hours on just a single character illustration but if you did follow this process let me know how you did by tagging me on instagram or using the hashtag cadillac cartoon but that's gonna do it for the video if you liked it give it a like and a comment if you're new to my channel i do lots of drawing tutorials speed drawings art challenges and more so if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you in my next video